Welcome everybody into this new tutorial. In this video, let's take a look of which application fits with us the best, whether that would be Notion or Trello in this case. So in this video, I'm not saying which application it's best. Uh, Trello is better than Notion or Notion is better than Trello. What I'm doing here is to try to show you all the features, all the tasks, all the things that we can do into both applications so you can see which one fits for you the best or in this case, depending on the project that you want to work for. Now, there were other videos when we talked about ClickUp, we talked about Asana, we talked about Monday application, and we talked about Trello and Notion already. But in this video, we want to focus into the easy task because Trello and Notion are applications where we can manage our projects and it's really easy to adapt to the way that they, this both application works. So. What I'm going to show you guys is how we work into both applications. So here into Trello, I can say like totally right away that if I choose to make a payment, for example, I can see the plans on Trello, it's going to be costing me $5. But if I use, uh, as you can see here, I use the annually plan. So you have to be really aware of that. If you disable that and, and change that into monthly, the price actually, it's not that bad it may i mean six dollars it's totally great but you have a free trial uh, section of premium mode for one user for 14 days which i can be leaving you that below in the description so you can check it out by yourself and of course you will be having access to notion but here into notion there's an interesting part if you are working into notion by yourself there's a free option so you want to work by yourself there's a free option there's a super personal option where you have to pay only four dollars a month and the team member is the double like eight dollars but you have unlimited everything and why does trailer are charging us five dollars per month for a standard uh premium section so if i click into compare plans we're going to be able to have advanced checklist custom fields unlimited storage a thousand workspaces a month the single board guest save the searches but depending on what you're trying to look for here into both applications let's say that it might not be worthy if you want to pay eight dollars a month if you're just working by yourself in that case you can just pay like half a price and stick around with notion because notion it's almost like the same thing but you'd have to pay a lot just in case you're working by yourself so both applications as i just told you before both applications are like a simple mode, a very easy way so you can adapt into this section. So what I do love about this Notion section is that I can get started right away and I don't have to do a lot of things into in order to understand how to use this Notion application. I can just go into, uh, let's say, for example, um, create a workspace for myself. So as you can see, this one says try for free. I want to look for myself. And here I am into the get started section. Welcome to Notion. Here are some basics. Click anywhere and just start typing. And I can check this mark. Hit to see all the types of content. So it's really easy to just scratch my task. If I go into quick note, I can add different quick notes actually here with some text, a to do list, a sub pages, and some links. Like a list that I can create. There's my task list. So if I am doing a video, I can just drag and drop into doing section and hit into done. If I'm already successfully done with that, I can go into my journal where we were a few sections ago, a few minutes ago. Here are all my tags, my properties. So it's really easy to use Notion, guys. If I use the reading list, the things that I wanted to look at, and I can save this like if it was like a personal library. And I can add something else. I can add a different page. I can choose templates. And let's say, for example, that I want to look for meetings. And I can organize team meetings, which is, which is right in here. Or I can organize uh, a designed sprint, like something like this. A social media calendar. I could get the template. I can add this into private. And here's my sample. The video, the status, the date, the area, the platform, and the visual deeds. I can change that into calendar view, platform by status, and visual needed. 
So here into the platform by satisfy work a lot into Instagram, for example, here's my to do list of Instagram, like post one video. And once again, I choose drag and drop into my progress and hit into complete, which is actually helping me a lot. And here into Trello, if I want to do the same thing, let's try to go into our workspaces. And in here, I'm going to choose a new one. Let's say that we are looking for the same thing, a social media marketing, which is this one. I'm going to use this template. I'm going to hit into create. And Trello is going to be creating the template so I can be doing all these things by myself. So as you can see, here are some resources. There are some photos that I think they are like not too much. Uh, I think it's not that important to see that into our social media boards. But let's say if I can delete this cover, remove my cover. And I can see this a little bit more easier, but I can do the same thing. I can just drag and drop and here have just a little bit more of ways that I can look into my project, my map and my timeline. I don't think I can see this into notion. I can go back uh, calendar view. Oh yeah, I can do that. Actually, I can go into calendar. I can go into the plus section. I can add some items. So I have almost six ways that I can view my work. And in here I have one, two, three, four, five, six, when six ways that I can watch my stuff. So both of them are great applications. Both of them are really simple and easy to use. If you want to work with more than one person, I think Trello might be the right application for you. So just think about that. You won't be taking too long into uh, explaining your members how to use the application and how to start working and planning things and starting to check out their tasks and all that. And if you want to work by yourself, I think Notion can do the job. I think Notion is really easy to use. I mean, getting started. I am so in love into the post in the home section because here into the daily, I can add uh, a different block. Let's say, for example, tasks and ever link that into something else into a list into movies that i need to watch right if i need to watch this movie i can dra drag and drop right in here like right? so this is like for only for yourself and it's really important guys that you really take advantage into something that you have learned as a very easy way to work so once again i'm not saying that this application is better than the other one i'm just saying that sometimes it might be easy for yourself to work into notion or trello even into asana on monday so this application totally depends into your project what kind of what kind of platforms fits the best for you depending on the project and lastly what i do want to check it out here into trello what i do check is go into my account and go into the help section let's say that i wanted to contact someone like going into it live chat because i needed to do something that i don't know how to do it and i didn't find it into the community section or in youtube so i went to the contact support section and i was looking for the contact support like for life but i didn't see that button so i'm gonna hit into contact us which is in here visit the help site so there are a bunch of articles that i can choose there are community billing licensing questions but speaking about a really live chat support, it's not available. So I think this can be um, improved from Trello because I didn't. I think it's really important for for us the the customers to have this um, help support like really really at hand. And here into Notion, I just looked into down in here, clicked in here, and go into message support. So it was just as really, really easy just to connect with a bot and this bot obviously is going to be sending me into a real person. So I think that could be a little bit um, improved. But so far, both applications are really great. Both applications have workspaces that you can just really get used to it within the first day. Both applications have great uncommon prices because Speaking about other platforms, there are other platforms that they charge you like eight to ten dollars per month. But I'm gonna leave you a link, guys, down below in the description so you can see which application fits for you the best. You'll have 14 days trial of the Trello, so you can get the premium free trial mode. And remember that the notion is totally for free. But if you want to use this for a team membership, you're gonna get a pro version. 
trial mode down below in the description as well so hopefully this was a very useful video for you guys thank you so much for watching this video uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more about these applications more about these platforms how to improve your project management and all that so thank you once again guys and hopefully i'll see you next time